now, K-Gun 9 on your side sports. Sponsored by Casino Del Sol. I'm Jason Barr. Thursday begins the NFL draft this year. It is Berry Harvest time, as in Wildcat wide receiver Stanley Berry Hill, who is arguably the team's best player this past season. Just a lot of nerves. Yeah, you get real anxious around this time. Stanley Berryhill may be anxious about draft day, but he didn't show too many nerves on game day. Berryhill led the Wildcats last year in receptions and yards receiving. The feedback he's getting from NFL teams is that they are most impressed with his play on special teams. I talked to them a lot about that, and I know that's what's going to help me make a team and make a roster, so I just embrace it. But at 5'11", Berryhill isn't considered tall and there were questions about his speed. That is until he ran the 40-yard dash in 4.45 seconds during Arizona's NFL Pro Day. I think it helped ease the, the doubt from a lot of scouts from the past. They, they didn't think I was going to be that fast, so being able to show straight line speed, it, it felt real good to check that box. Barry Hill has been getting advice from Jed Fish. Keep your head down and keep working. And of course, working out in the hopes of hearing his name called. The former Mountain View star is a projected late round pick, which means he may be selected Saturday in the three day draft. You never know what could happen with the draft. You, they could tell you one thing and then something else could end up happening. So you just really never know. All right, let's take a look at the Wildcats who have been drafted since 2016. Uh, do we have that uh, piece of video? All, all late selections uh, here, uh, late rounders, that is. Will Parks has been on six different NFL rosters. Scooby Wright, he's in the USFL right now. Uh, Dane Crookshank, he just signed with the Bears. P.J. Johnson is looking for a team. And Roy Lopez saw playing time after making the Texans last year. And Gary Brightwell is a backup for the New York Giants. And you can see round one of the NFL draft right here tomorrow at 5 o'clock on KGUN 9.